Why does it bring out the little boy in me? I'm Jack, a director, filmmaker, and environmentalist. And I'm headed out of the concrete jungle that I call home for a series of wild weekends. <laughs> I will be going naked though, is that a problem? Not at all. Great. Canopy and Stars will be putting us up in tree houses, beach huts, and cabins, along with pointing us in the direction of some of the UK's best hidden gems, <laughs> all just a few hours from London. Six-year-old me would be so excited by this. This weekend, I'm headed to East Sussex for a full-on nature experience. I'll be meeting the community who live in this beautiful woodland, getting stuck in some outdoor DIY, Cheers. brushing up on my map skills, and staying in an incredible tree house. Hey. That sound. That is that's a squirrel. Is it? Yeah. So I boarded the train from London, and in just under an hour, we'd arrived into the small station of Buxted and set off to find the woodland. Wilderness Woods. Welcome. 60 acres of working woodland, family owned and looked after by member volunteers of all ages. We're gonna be staying in some incredible cabins, and for starters, I'm gonna get stuck in some woodwork. Hey. So Jake, how are you how doing? Are you? Right? Yeah, very good. Yeah, how are yeah. you? Well, welcome to the woods and welcome to a kind of hopefully a relatively conventional, which is quite unconventional, volunteer morning here. What am I going to build? Yeah, what are you building today? Yeah. Basically, firewood crates so that all the wood goes in the top, slowly filled up over time, and then the panels come out at the bottom to help filter down the firewood. I'm excited to get my hands on some tools, I'm not going to lie. Something about a drill that's just <laughs> exciting, isn't it? Everyone who stays here is asked to volunteer or contribute in some way to the running of the woods, which is an amazing way to immediately get stuck in and feel like you're a part of the team. Or you're like me and love any excuse to play with a drill. <laughs> so how did you guys end up here then? Like, what was your story coming here? I came to volunteer here about seven years ago and oh, wow. loved it. It was just a slightly dilapidated old piece of woodland. And we do camping here, but we're not a campsite. We run kind of home education groups, but we're, we're not a school. We're not a cafe, but we sell teas and coffees. We have woodland and we do make woodland products, but we're not a commercial enterprise. We're all these things and we try to be as diverse as possible. And that I think makes it quite unique is that we're never, never specializing. Hi guys, Jack here, just doing a vlog from the woods. Basically what's happening is I was so slow that the camera crew have had to get involved. Here we go. Perfect. Look at that face! Arrgh. And through the magic of editing, it's now done. <laughs> Do I get to drive a quad bike now? Yeah, I think cool. we'll deliver one. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Oh my, oh my god. See you later. <laughs> That's a bad. Cheers. You're very welcome. That was Thank wicked. You so much. I keep just seeing that. <laughs> just, it feels like the right thing to do, you know, when you're driving quad bikes and cutting wood. <laughs> Lunch here is a communal affair. A delicious spread served up in their big barn with everyone eating together. Wholesome. So wholesome is the only word I can think of. And one lucky soul gets to do all the washing up. People say it's all glamour filming, but it's the reality. Earn your keep round here, you know? People, oh, just when I thought I was done. I love my job. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. After chipping in with the pots and pans, Kate, one of the members who lives on site, offered to take me on a bit of a walking tour of the place, following a huge trail that they've built through the woodland. Kate must have known that I'm a 10 year old at heart because the first stop on our tour was to see the mother of all swings. Oh my God, look how big this is. <laughs> oh my god! It's so high! Have you heard my voice ever go that high? <laughs> Given that we were only five minutes into the tour, Kate finally cajoled me off the swing after my 100th go. That's the most excited I've ever been, literally in years. That was incredible. We spent the afternoon exploring the woods, talking about their ambitious conservation projects, coppicing chestnuts, growing Christmas trees, protecting their biggest beech tree. Oh, wow. And their plans to build a bridge and flood part of the wood in order to encourage biodiversity. Oh, dragonfly there flying across, oh, yeah. or damselfly maybe. They've built amazing outdoor structures, a Japanese inspired spa. I mean, I wouldn't mind showering here every morning. That is so cool. Communal spaces for events and learning. Humans and nature here have become well entwined. I'm a tree. Fun fact, it was my first role 
in a pantomime at school was to be a tree. Very good at being a tree. It's just nice. I feel like my whole body's just slowed down. The sound of the birds. And there's something about the wind through the trees as well. It's just like, sort of like someone saying, shh. A message from nature, which I'll gladly listen to and shut up. Also, something about being surrounded by things that are so much bigger than you as well, and you're like, oh yeah, I don't really matter. Also, things that are so much older than you as well. So this is Dumbledore Cabin, where you're staying tonight. Oh, cool. Um, so Dumbledore, I mean, there is a Harry Potter connection, obviously, but Dumbledore's an old Sussex dialect term for bumblebee. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is so cool. Home sweet home. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is unbelievable. Look at that view. Oh, wow. I mean, it doesn't really get better than this, does it? This is so cute. Look at that kitchen. That's like the most picturesque kitchen I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I feel like I don't have words. <laughs> like, it's like a kid's dream. It's like, it's like a giant, like, kid's treehouse, but for adults and beautifully made as well. Every window you look out, like here, over there, is just filled with green, like we're literally in the, in the canopy. Uh, yeah. I could live here. Needless to say, I was completely wowed by the treehouse. Wow. And in true toddler fashion, I would need a nap to recover. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. From naps to maps, Film, bit of wordplay. I was put in charge of finding us a decent walk to a local pub. We're down here at the bottom. Truth be told, I was always quite good at geography, but after taking nearly half an hour to find where we actually were on the map, I was feeling a little less confident. Uh, look, it's the park, Copper's Green. So there's this here? No. Uh, I've lost it. Wilderness Wood, I found it. Wilderness, I found it. Wilderness Wood. That's it, that's us right there. Wilderness Wood. Right, so the owners have recommended we go to this incredible pub just nearby, which is up here near High Hurstwood, and we are down here at Wilderness Wood. So we're going to walk, which will be interesting using a map. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to brag, but I did do Duke of Edinburgh Bronze. Um, I'm sure I did some map reading during that event, so I, I think we'll be fine. How many years ago was that? This was when I was 17. Rucksack on. Map in hand. Hay fever firing on all cylinders. <laughs> in the words of Bilbo Baggins, I'm going on an adventure. I think we're going this way. This way, oh, no, hold on. It's this way. Footpath, this way. Oh, ponies! <laughs> Lovely evening. Just thought I'd check in, how you doing? Come on, Ben. How are you feeling about this adventure? I'm scared that you've got the map. Yeah, that's, that's a fair comment. Look, stop and listen. Beware of trains. We're on track. I think. On a track or we're on track? Well, could be either. <gasps> Actually a train. Hong Kong! Did it! That was a proper Francis Bourgeois moment. Right, come on. <laughs> oh, look at that wow. mug as well. That is exactly what I need. Oh, cheers. Hey, we made it alive. How's it going? Full of pub grub and feeling very accomplished with our walk, we headed back to our cabin for a bit of old fashioned fire and chill. What's the story of that going on? Nice, Unbelievable chorus. 
like being in an immersive um, cinema or like virtual reality, except it's real. You know, I think about my life in London and the, the noise and the, like, the pace of life and the intensity of it. And then you just come an hour out and you have this. So this morning in the spirit of uh, staying relaxed, becoming more at one with nature, I've booked a, a Qigong class. Never done Qigong before, but um, I'm excited. We've only been here a day, but it feels like a week. It feels like we've done so much in the last day, and that's what I love about doing these mini adventures, is you just, you make the most of every second, and you're really present in it as well. You're just present for everything you're doing. I think part of the reason that I feel so passionate about coming and doing these types of things, and like cabins like this existing, is that nature is so often a privilege. Like to come and enjoy nature like this is a, is a huge privilege, and it's often privately owned, and I think it's so cool that people can come and access spaces like this. Like it makes nature accessible, which it should be. All right then. All right, time some Qigong? Let's do it. Hi. I'm Jack. Hey, so nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us come That's and join right. your class. I'm very excited. There's, there's just something powerful about leaving your day-to-day -day life and meeting a community who are living slightly differently, who are challenging some of the norms. That's really inspiring, you know, meeting the guys here and seeing the way that they build things out of wood that they found on the land and so many things here are upcycled and like really uniquely created. Just reminded me of the importance of working with nature and of rethinking the things that we do. It's, I don't know, it's really inspired me this trip. You can't help but be humbled. And that's quite nice every now and then. How was that? Well, that was amazing. I wasn't really expecting that to be so good. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. I was a bit nervous about doing it, but <sighs> slow down. I feel like that's what these few days have been about, just remembering to slow down. And no hay fever. I think I found a solution. I mean, dare I say that was the perfect end to a pretty perfect couple of days. Welcome aboard the Southern Service to London Bridge.